What is up, guys? It's Sebastian Castillo coming to you today from an undisclosed part of Canada. And the view is absolutely gorgeous. I'll just show you here. Got a gorgeous sunset here. You can see the lake, this tree in the way, but it's real nice, as you can see. And Lately, I've been working on a couple of other things here, so I haven't had too much time to make videos, but the topic of today's video is uh, frame. Okay. A lot of people have different ideas on what that word means, what the connotation is, and I'm going to explain to you my take on it and why it's so vitally important for all of you, no matter where you are in life. It's funny how this works because different areas of your life at some point will start to cross over, right? Your relationships, your career, your family life, your, your friendships, and you'll start to notice some synchronicities and some of the same kinds of messages and concepts keep popping up and, and sizzling and simmering in your head. And that's the idea of, that's how the idea of frame has been coming to me recently. What I mean to say with all of this is, see, if you don't know too much about me, if you're just watching this video, you haven't watched any of the other ones, I have come a long way in my own development, right? I was a very, very different person a decade ago when I was 20, when I was 19, when I was a teenager. And I think we all are to some extent, right? If you're playing the game of life correctly, you are going to grow, develop, you're going to discard old beliefs and you're going to embrace new ones that empower you and help you move ahead in life and get the things that you want. The problem with me and perhaps some of you can relate is that I was in a really bad spot for so many years and I, I coped and I blamed that on my upbringing, on my parents, on my school environment, on my genetics, the way I looked, all of these things, right? What I mean by that is I wasn't a popular kid. I often felt very lonely. I was bullied in school. I kind of locked myself away and coped by playing video games for hours and hours and hours instead of getting out there and, and doing things and going for what I really wanted. I had a poor mindset in terms of money, in terms of dating and relationships. And it continued to compound against me and work against me. And thankfully, when I went to China at age 19, things started to kind of shift for me. And by being in a new environment, I was able to reinvent myself and act differently, talk different, and embrace a, a superior identity so I could get more of the things that I really wanted. But even then, I was still struggling. Even now, I'm still not really where I want to be, but I'm in a much, much, much better position than I used to be. It all came down to frame because I am still the same guy with the same name, with the same family. I still have the same face, even though I, one of the things I've done now as a result of my frame stemming from my frame is taking more care of my appearance and my grooming and my choice of clothing, how I present myself, all of these things, how articulate I am, how I speak, all of these things stem from the frame of mind that you carry every second of every day, every time you speak to someone, every time you walk into a new environment, you are your frame. It's a bit of a difficult subject to really crystallize and, and simplify. I'm really trying my best here. I'm trying to distill it for you guys because if there's anything that I owe my very modest success to so far, it is, I actually made a video not too long ago about this. It was talking about how you have a choice to be confident. You have a choice to value yourself. You have a choice every single day to decide how you want to interpret what people say to you or actions that they take towards you or that they don't take towards you. And 
Some people might call that delusional. But you know what? Every single person who has ever really successful, every single man who ever really made something out of himself was probably seen as delusional by a lot of people, right? You can imagine a guy like Napoleon, for, for instance, right? He was short, right? He's a short king. And when he was a boy or a young man, and maybe he shared his dreams of grandeur and great ambitions to become someone of importance and influence with others, you could bet that some people might have talked down to this guy and said that you'll never amount to anything. You're never going to be respected like that. You're never going to achieve that. But he didn't let that get to him, right? I'm just throwing out one example out of thousands in the past and even currently in the modern day. You don't have to aspire to be a great ruler to use this concept of frame to your advantage. All you have to do is take a day, take an afternoon for yourself, maybe like I am right now, enjoying a nice view, the nice breeze on your own, taking a deep breath and thinking about, okay, what are some things about myself that I know need to change, that I don't like about myself, that I know I can refine, I can chip away at the marvel, at the marble, pardon me, and reveal that picturesque statue of who I really am within me, right? All of us have to do this to some extent. The difference between you, me, and all the other people is that many will find this too uncomfortable. This process is too it is too disappointing, distressing, and even quite earth shattering because it can it requires people to confront their ego and be realistic about who they've become, the choices that they've made up till this point, the conversations that go on inside their heads, and admit that not only have they been wrong, but they've been working towards their own detriment. All you have to do is let go, right? Imagine yourself up on a roof. This isn't my example. This is a, an example my coach gave me yesterday. Imagine you're up on a roof. You're, you're grabbing on tightly to a rope and it's connected to a net full of cinder blocks. All you have to do is let go, okay? Whatever it is that you feel has been holding you back from getting the kind of career you want or the skills or the relationships, or even just the self-confidence that you want, you can let go of it. And here's the key, you have to replace it with whatever empowers you, okay? Now, very, very specific example of where this falls into place. It was my sales coach who kind of brought this to light with me yesterday. And in a sales context, frame is everything because you can use all the tactics all the strategies all the lines all the all the little techniques none of that really will land with the person that you're speaking to whether it's just a nurse out in oklahoma who's trying to lose some weight or a fortune 500 ceo in new york and you're trying to pitch him you know a 10 20 30 thousand dollar 100k million dollar deal whatever it is it all comes from your frame, the way you speak, the way you sound, all of those things fall into place naturally when your frame is correct. And the frame, the correct frame of a respectable sales person of a deal maker is I'm the expert, I'm the authority. I may be wrong, but I'm never in doubt. Everything about you resonates and radiates certainty, it radiates strength, it radiates understanding, it radiates professionalism, right? So you have to embody all of those traits so that you can naturally just, whatever comes out of your mouth is aligned with those things. Even if you do blunder here and there, because we're human, we're not robots. Even in this video, I blundered a few times here and there right? But 
no matter what happens. Your, your words will be communicated, but the undertone, right, the emotion of those words will also be unmistakably communicated when you have the right frame. Same thing can be applied to speaking to women, right? If in your head, you go through every single day feeling like you're ugly, or feeling like there's some perceived physical defect in yourself, your nose, your height, your race, your hair, your voice, whatever the fuck it is, maybe you're a little chubby, I'm not saying that you should just be okay with those things. If you can change them, you should try to, right? Anyone can lose weight at the very least. Anyone, any guy who's a little serious can put on some muscle, slim down and look good. Not even just in his 20s or 30s, but years and years ahead, okay? That's just one small example. If you go through life every single day telling yourself that you are a loser, and that you don't deserve the kinds of girls that you really want. You don't deserve the kind of house, the car, the career, the respect, the relationships, the friendships, and just generally having fun and going through life like it's a, like it's a dream, then you're not going to get it. And a lot of people will fight against that. They, they, Oddly enough, they don't like to hear that, no matter how liberating it actually is. They want to cling on to that rope with the net full of cinder blocks. Those represent all of those burdens that have been compounding against you for years and years and years. Whether it is from things that happened to you in the past, or things that people said to you, ways that people treated you. People treated me really fucking badly when I was in high school, even in college. People, friends, people who I thought were friends, they ditched me. They talked about me behind my back. They treated me like I was just some, some garbage, right? Girls who I've gone out with or I tried to go out with treated me pretty badly. And nowadays, especially on the internet, you see a lot of guys complaining about that in particular. Do you really think that most of those guys are doing well? Do you really think that most of those guys, by putting that out into the world and having those kinds of conversations, even though it is reality, do you think that they're actually happy and that they're getting the things that they want in that one aspect of life? Probably not, right? Because winners win. Winners, winners can acknowledge what reality is. But then again, reality is subjective for all of us. My reality is different from yours. The reality of Mark Zuckerberg is different from ours. The reality of a guy who might be a little on the pudgy side, who might be a little bit short, who might not be making a whole lot of money, but he can go into any nightclub or bar and become the life of the party and bring home the hottest girl to his home and do whatever he wants with her and start a relationship. His reality is very different too. The only difference is that these people who have the things that they want or are on the way to doing it, don't let anything get in their way. If anything, I, I don't want to make this another long rant, even though I know some, some of you actually kind of enjoy these. I will simply end off with this quote, and it's by Robert Anton Wilson from the book Prometheus Rising. I read that one a long time ago, but this one, really, this one quote really stuck with me. And it's very simple. The thinker thinks and the prover proves. The thinker thinks and the prover proves. And then tied into that, what my coach mentioned yesterday, life is what you make of it. Sounds super cheesy. Oh yes, life is what you make of it. Oh, so I'm just gonna start saying positive affirmations to myself. Yeah, try doing that. Just do something to get yourself out of this funk this funk that maybe you've been in for years that has been hanging over you like a black cloud and you've just grown to accept it and you've grown to think that this is normal, that this is what you were destined for, that when you were a young boy, that this was what you aspired to. It isn't. I'll bet you it fucking isn't. What you're doing right now for the most part is not what, you, what your eight-year-old self 
would have been happy with. Don't let him down. Don't let your future you down. Don't let your family down. Don't let yourself down. <laughs> you know, you can tell that this is, this is definitely something that hits close to home for me. Because I've gone through so much of this. And I've really pursued it so far. And I still have so far yet to go. But I feel like if anyone can get a few steps ahead in any track towards success it's their duty to give back right and pay it forward to the people who are still a bit behind and who are still trying to get onto that track right whether it is starting to do remote sales online and leaving your country whether it is starting to really date the most attractive women that you want and have them genuinely interested in you without having to flex or show anything off right like th this is this is reality for some guys out there but again until you really open your mind up to it and you think you know what if that could be possible for me then you're going to be stuck you're going to be stuck in this quicksand and at some point no one is going to care anymore about helping you out there's going to be a point where that last hand that's been extended to you will be retracted and you'll be done don't let that be you. Take care.